Hey everyone, welcome to the Frugal PA. My name is Carol, and today we're going to be discussing the transactions after my weekly budget number two. So, what? how much money did I spend? So, I spent uh, a lot of money, but uh, I didn't spend all of it. So, let's go over here to our simple budget envelopes. So, from the first weekly budget, I had a little bit left in uh, some of the categories. So I had $4.50 from gas, $17.27 from food, two cents from medications. So what I'm going to do is transfer those into my savings envelope. So you kind of have to do it uh, like an old fashioned way. So Today's date is the 9th, so I'm going to be typing, if my computer would work, the date, 1921, and transfer to savings, and I'm going to put $4.50. I'm going to hit subtract, then I'm going to go over into the savings write the date and say transfer from gas four dollars and fifty cents and I'm gonna hit add so our savings went up four dollars and fifty cents next I'm gonna do that with the food budget transfer to savings and then the amount, 17.27. I'm just gonna copy and paste this for simplicity. So it's 17.27, I'm gonna hit subtract. Then I'm gonna write 17.27 here before I forget and paste. So it's a transfer to savings. And I'm gonna hit add. So now our savings went up $17.27. And last but not least, I'm going to do the medications. So transfer to savings and two cents. Every cent count, guys. Every cent counts. So subtract. I'm going to come over to the savings and do it again. Oops, not 20 cents, 2 cents, and I'm going to hit add. So, we are now up to 232.68 from, that is what was left over from the weekly budget number one. So, for the second weekly budget, let's add money to our envelopes. So, let's see. So, we didn't have any bills from January 8th through the 14th. I have no bills this week. So the bills envelope is going to stay empty. For the expenses, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I had to raise the gas up to $35 per week. For the first time since I have had my car, I had to put more than $30 in the tank. <laughs> so on the 8th, I had to put $32.74 to fill up the tank, which I have never had to do before uh, since getting my car. I've had this car for um, about, over, it's been over a year. So I was very surprised. So I had to increase that budget a little bit and hopefully I won't have to increase it anymore. Hopefully it's just a, few, a fluke and I don't have to <laughs> do that again, but I'm gonna increase that uh, weekly budget from now on. So, let's go over and add $35 to our envelope. And payday was on the 8th. So, payday, paycheck, however you want to say it, and then hit add. So, next is our food money. 
So I put $75 per week in that envelope. So 75. And again, guys, I'm just gonna copy and paste this so it doesn't take as long. All right, and then we're gonna hit add. Next, we have our health and beauty section. So I do $10 per week. Um, I haven't used any of that budget in a long time and I had to get some stuff uh, over the weekend. So I put $40 per month there so you guys wouldn't get confused and think that I was went over budget because I didn't. So I'm just gonna add $40 to um, the health and beauty. Okay. Okay, next we're gonna add money to our haircut envelope. We're gonna add $60. And then we're going to paste our uh, January 8th paycheck label. And then we're going to hit add. Next is the PA apartment. And it comes out to $20 per week. So I'm going to type 20. And paste. And add. So now we have $20 in that envelope. Next uh, is the oil changes, and I put $30 in there. Okay, and add. And lastly, guys, I had an unexpected um, thing pop up. So my Top Toys program, I got in, and they sent me an email stating that I had to get a drug test and a background check. Okay, fine. What I didn't know was that it that I had to pay for it. <laughs> so um, that is an unexpected expense that I had to come out of savings, unfortunately. Uh, the savings that I put in. So uh, last time I put in, I think it was something like $300 into savings. Well, it's now it was like $200 because I had to take that back out. So, I'm going to add another envelope for unexpected. And I'm going to make it red. So now we have unexpected expenses there. And I just want to just, I'm just going to do this just so I can keep track of like, how many unexpected expenses do ha have happened, you know, over the course of a month or whatever. Like, how much have I had to pull from savings over something that I didn't expect? So, on the 8th, had to pay, let me put, um, drug test background check. And it was 80 75 I'm not going to put an amount. I don't want it to go into the negative or anything. I'm just going to put it there just so I can keep track of it. And I'm going to hit add. Yeah, not only did I have to pay for it, it was $80. <laughs> so I was not happy about that. But I was, I'm was i really excited to get into this program. And if I have to spend $80 on our drug test, then I'm fine with that. Okay, so now let's put in, let's subtract some money. So for gas, like I said earlier, I had to spend a little bit more than $30, uh, which I've never had to do before. I actually had to spend $32.74 to fill up my tank. So I'm going to put $32.74. Then I actually filled up on the 8th. And I'm going to hit subtract. So we have $2.26 left for the week. For food, on the 8th, I spent $62.78 at Walmart. Oh, that's the wrong one. So I'm going to put 1821 Walmart. I'm going to hit 
subtract. So we have $12.22 left after that. But I reloaded my Starbucks app and I put in $10. So I need to subtract another 10. So I'm going to subtract $10 and that leaves us with $2.22 for food. Next, uh, the health and beauty section, I had to get some shampoo and some body wash and I also got some body spray that um, smelled pretty good. So that costs me $33.96. And that was on the 8th as well. And subtract. So that leaves us with $6.04 in that category. Next is haircuts. And I spent $57.60. And I'm going to put Madison there because that's the name of my hair lady. And I'm going to hit subtract. That leaves me with $2.40 left in the haircut envelope. Next, I spent $18.72 on stuff for my apartment. So $18.72 on the 8th, and that was at Walmart. I'm going to hit subtract. That leaves me with $1.28 in that envelope. I haven't gotten an oil change yet, so I can just keep that the same. And that's all that I've spent. So next, I just want to update my savings here. Let's see. So I'm just going to be moving all of those extras, like the $2.26 and the $2.22, $6.04, all of those extras, extra dollars and cents from those envelopes, envelopes. I'm going to be moving those into savings because I'm not going to spend another dime this week. So, transfer to savings. I'm going to copy that again. So it's two dollars and twenty six cents, and I'm going to hit subtract. So two twenty six. I'm going to paste that in there, and I'm going to hit sub I'm going to hit add this time. So now that brings us up to two hundred and thirty four ninety four in the savings envelope. I'm going to do the same for the food. To 22. I'm going to hit subtract here. And I'm going to add it to the savings. It was 222. I'm going to paste the date and the transfer to savings and I'm going to hit add. So that brings us up to 237.16. I'm going to go to the health and beauty section and it was $6.04. I'm going to hit subtract. Go down to savings, 604. I'm going to hit paste and add, which brings us up to 243.20. So we have nothing left up here. Oh, and here's the haircut $2.40. Paste, and we're going to hit subtract. And we're going to hit add. So that brings us to 245.60. Next, we have the PA apartment at 128. We're going to hit subtract. We're going to go down to savings. And we're going to add $1.28 to the savings. And that leaves us with 246.88. So, I actually have uh, more than that in my savings account. 
um, because I didn't start off with uh, telling you guys how much I have in there. But I'm just going to go ahead and put it. So in total and savings, I have $1,477.69. So I'm going to subtract $246.88 from that in just a second. Forty-seven, sixty-nine minus two forty-six, eighty-eight. So I actually need to add one thousand two hundred and thirty dollars and eighty-one cents. And I'm going to put already in savings, and I'm going to hit add. So that brings me up to oh. Did it not do it? Okay, there it goes. You can't put a comma in here. Um, it won't register. So that brings us up to $1,477.69 in my savings account. And that also includes the $350 for my bridesmaid dress. So... If you subtract that, 69 minus 350, it's like I have saved $1,127.69 because that's I just subtracted it from, uh, or I subtracted $350 that is for my dress. I don't have two different savings accounts, so they're both in there. All right, guys, so that concludes... Uh, this simple budget envelopes for my weekly budget number two. Go ahead and hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you for the next video. Thanks for watching.